Greetings GISD. This is Dr. Stuhl, our final student spotlight of the 23-24 school year. With me today, I have Carl Little, senior here at Gainesville High School. Carl, how are you doing today? I'm doing rather well. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Glad to hear that and thank you for joining me. With that being said, Carl, let's jump right into our questions. Tell us, tell us about yourself and, and your family. Well, um, my name is, of course, it's Carl Little. Um, I was born in 2005. I was born far away from here. I was born in, all the way down in Arlington or Irving, I grew up in Arlington, we moved around a bit and finally settled upon Gainesville. Um, my mother found a job here, and speaking of my mother, she was born into ex extreme poverty in the Philippines in, in, the, in the late 70s, in a poor provincial, pro in, this pro in this farming province in, in it, known as Pampanga. She had to work for another family at the age of 12, and she worked really hard to finally get her way over here into America. She works now at NTMC. And as for my father, uh, similar, sort of similar socioeconomic ori origins, but in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually they met, fell in love, came, and then they married. And of course, I was the end result of that. Um, I will say that uh, other than that, uh, I'm nothing remarkable, you know, I'm just your average kid. Uh, I, Carl, you're all remarkable. You're a remarkable young man. I'm definitely getting, looking forward to getting to know a little bit more about you this, this morning. All right, so how, how long have you been a student here in, in GISD? I have been here, I have been interred with the uh, Ginsley Independent School District for all the, as far back as, say, 2020. But I was um, when I was in fifth grade, and and that was for the latter half of the semester, when I first moved to Gainesville, and then in between my fifth grade and my ninth grade year, I was at St. Mary's for grades six through eighth. Okay. All right. Well, what is your most memorable year? Uh, you know, you talk about you know being at the intermediate campus, but also being at the high school campus. Uh, what was your most memorable campus? And lastly, what's the most memorable teacher that you've had? Well, I would definitely say Gainesville is my most memorable campus, and my most memorable teacher would be Mrs. Perkins. Mrs. Perkins, she is the art teacher here at Gainesville High School. She has taught a lot, and me a lot of things uh, regarding art and form and line art and gesture. And also, she has helped motivate me, and she has encouraged me in my endeavors concerning her. Well, Mrs. Perkins has definitely done, she's a phenomenal individual and has done an awesome job here in, in, in GISD. So I'm glad to hear that she has definitely made a, uh, an impact upon you as a student here. So what, now that, you know, we're three quarters of the way through your senior year, you know, and, you know, now the people are starting to shift their thoughts towards college. You know, of course, finishing up strong right here at Gainesville High School, but also beginning to talk about and think about college. Uh, where will you be attending college in the fall? In the fall, I will be attending Sam Houston State uh, University, SHSU, and I will be majoring in art and animation. Uh, in fact, that is the reason why I chose that school, for two reasons, really. The proximity, it is far away, it is like this three-hour drive, but it's the closest school that offers a 2D and 3D animation program. So, and then there's also the library, which I definitely look forward to. Very, like I think, I do believe it's five stories, each one acre, and filled to the brim with just books. It's not like, the, uh, it's not like the, this library, not, I'm not trying to put it down to, or anything, mm -hmm. but it is, at, each floor is at least, you know, three quarters of the way bookshelves. Mm -hmm. It's not like just halfway, and the other half is just a bunch of tables, but this, it's just like, a, it's mostly bookshelves. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'm very familiar with that library because I, I played basketball at Sam Houston State. Very nice. So it's glad to know that you're going to be a Bearcat. All right. So, so why did you, and you kind of spoke to this a while ago, but, uh, but why did you choose Sam Houston State? Uh, yes, sir. And I do apologize for getting ahead of myself there, but um, Sam fine. Houston State, um, again, like I said, the proximity and the uh, variety of programs dedicated to the arts. I actually toured the campus. It's uh, there. All their art departments are located inside one building. It's still a very nice building. And it's located directly across from the library, which is adjacent to the dormitory. So it's a 
It's a very small walking distance. They're all within walking distance of each other. Okay. So what are your, you know, as you now prepare to transition to Sam Houston State, uh, what, are, what are your goals for the future, you know, both short term and long term? My goals for the future short term, of course, is going to St. Houston State University, doing well in my classes, regarding and learning more about art, form, line art, and so forth, learning how to manipulate perspective, and learning the basics and mastering animation. Then, after that, of course, you know, forming my portfolio and entering the animation industry, I do hope to um, get into things like design, character design, mm -hmm. and uh, storyboarding that within, you know, animation, TV shows, movies, so on and so forth, maybe even making my own projects as well. So, sounds super exciting, super exciting. So, what, when did you find out your final rank and what was your reaction? I found out about my, my rank, uh, I do believe it was earlier this year, in, within, I think around January, at first, I, I was expecting, um, I, was, I, would, I really was expecting someone else to win, so, um, because there are a variety of people here at school who I would consider much smarter than me in, in a variety of, of fields, um, but when I got first place, um, it, was, it was quite a surprise, but a delightful one at that. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine, you know, being told that you're the valedictorian of your graduating class, I can only imagine the, the, the feelings, the, the, the joy, the, you know, just, the, uh, just the, the, the appreciation for all the hard work because you've worked extremely hard while you've been here at the high school and it's paid off for you. So congratulations, Carl. Thank you very much. So what has been your highlight? You know, now that we're, like, again, we're at the, we're on that final stretch of your senior year. What has been the, the best highlight uh, for you here at Gainesville High School? Well, there are a couple. I do believe there was when I won a few, uh, an award or two for uh, my entries into s certain art competitions, but also primarily it was uh, I do believe it was the the I do believe it was the Valentine's dance during uh, my tenth or ninth grade year uh, when I when I got on the dance floor. It was, everyone was cheering me on. It was it was very nice to feel, you know. It was a nice welcome, you could say, into the Gainesville Independent School District, especially considering that at St. Mary's it was much smaller. In fact, the graduating class in my eighth grade, it was all in one classroom. It was five people. <laughs> mm -hmm. So as you can imagine, I was, it was very nice to be surrounded by people who you know, supported and were, were happy that I was there. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I was happy that they were there. So. We're one big happy family. And I'm glad that, you know, you know, again, having attended school here at the Intermediate, then going to St. Mary's for a few years and then coming back, I'm glad that you, you still came back to that warm welcome and, and, and the feeling of, you know, I, just, I need, I, I should be here. So I'm glad that you shared that. Thank you. So now, you know, understanding, uh, you know, you've had many, many successes while you've been here at Gainesville High School, but I want to kind of touch on the, the flip side of that. So what has been the most challenging event uh, for you in your four years here at Gainesville High School? Definitely when I was and during certain college courses um, and I did have I experienced many difficulties regarding the assignments the professors here and there uh, not I'm not going to name it call anyone out but mm -hmm. you know it was just it was definitely a, a, ta a challenging it was definitely a challenge uh, you know navigating not just courses, but also coursework, and you know, the, and certain people here and there, you know, well, uh, as you would expect from the real world, you know, you'll deal with uh, certain people, um, both in, you know, um, superiors and you know, and coworkers and subordinates and such. Mm -hmm. You will have challenges when it comes to relating to and dealing with people. So. Mm -hmm. And, and and the thing, Carl, is I'll say as you prepare to transition to the college, you know that's a, an experience and a skill set that will will follow you for the rest of your life. Of your life, because when you transition off to games uh, to Sam Houston State, you're going to run into at some point, you're going to run into a similar type situation. You know whether it's a professor, whether it's your fellow students, whomever it may be. 
But having the experience and the the skill set to navigate those turbulent waters or you know, to troubleshoot whenever that presents itself is a valuable skill that you know that I think is a necessity to be successful in life. All right, so. So Carl, you know, understanding, you know, you're very involved academically, of course, with the arts and whatnot, but what other uh, extracurricular activities uh, are you involved with here in school, but also outside of school? Um, outside of school, um, in terms of extracurricular activities, I do believe I have, as I've mentioned, I entered in, I was, I'm, in, I'm currently in an art club, mm -hmm. and I have, I have participated in, new, in a, quite a few art competitions. Um, and I do believe primarily in my St. Mary's, uh, in my years at St. Mary's, but uh, I do believe they can still translate into my high school years because I did remember I did a few bit of volunteer work mm -hmm. uh, as I w approached the ninth grade year. I have done a, a bit of community service here and there, uh, primar especially with like, uh, I do believe I volunteered at the retirement home at Noah's Ark, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So big, Bob, big. You enjoy volunteering? Here and there. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a great experience to be able to give back uh, to not only to you know to others, but just to give back to our community. Okay, so ha has your experience here at Gainesville High School prepared you for life after high school, prepared you for college? Uh, it has, but primarily in regards to my, how the way I treat and um, manage myself around other people, um, how to form my own community, mm -hmm. how to, and of course, uh, within regards to courses and such, uh, my art teacher has, Ms. Perkins, has des definitely helped me a lot in you know, forming confidence in, in my artistic uh, as abilities. Okay. So, so now that you're you have, and I'll just go ahead and round up and say you have four years of experience here as a high school student. And, and like I said, you're, you know, just a matter of weeks before you walk across that stage. What advice would you give students to help them maximize their educational experience at Gainesville High School? Definitely um, en engage more with others, engage your teachers, your counselors, who, have been, who I must say have been really helpful. Mm -hmm. Uh, in particular, Mrs. Rich Ms. and Mrs. Brown. I don't know if there's one other, but I forgot her name. I... Miss Parsons. Miss Parsons, yes, sir. thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, I also um, would like to encourage people to take on dual credit, um, to take on cha challenges, ac academically speaking, to read on their own more, not just books, but also on, on the internet, you know, to uh, find, find a passion for at least something. Mm -hmm. Well, and express it openly. Well, Carl, I would say that is great advice. Great advice. So, what what are you going to miss the most about being in high school? Um, definitely my my uh, the help that I received from the counselors, teachers, my friends, who are kind of like a second family, really. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, and also the ability to just. Uh, have less on you know on your shoulders really because as you go into the real world more and more will be dependent on who on you yourself but uh, definitely I will miss that sort that sense of you know a, of uh, freedom you, uh, not freedom but you know uh, more like how do I put it um, less r responsibility sort of but response, ha taking on responsibility, I would still say is necessary for development in terms of character and uh, overall maturity and growth. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And very well said. And, and as I said earlier, those, those soft skills are going to be skills that help you, you know, again, as you transition out of Gainesville High School into Sam Houston State as well and into life. Okay, so... Thinking about Sam Houston, what are you looking most forward to in college? What are you looking forward to? Uh, of course, the art program, but also uh, the community there, you know, friends, finding uh, another sort of, again, like I said, second family there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I will, of course, I will enjoy uh, drawing and spending time at the library. Very nice and 
beautiful and extensive library. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and that, that's exciting. I, I tell you, Carl, you sound just like me when I was sitting in your seat, you know, getting ready to transition off to college. You know, of course, you have your core group of friends here in Gainesville ISD that you've, you know, gone off to high school with. But I tell you, when I when I hit Huntsville, Texas, and and the campus of Sam Houston State University, I met a totally different set of an, another extended family. You know, my teammates, uh, some of the people that lived in my dorm, but also people who went to the same college of education that I attended. And so it's exciting times, and there's no doubt in my mind that you'll get right on in, and you'll fit right on in, and you'll find your niche and find that that group of students that that you'll call friends and enjoy your college experience with. So Carl, when you look back as a freshman at Gainesville High School, what advice would you give yourself? You know, what is something you wish you would have known or done differently? To be quite honest, I believe that everything has gone perfectly uh, according to, and I hope you don't mind me saying this, but uh, you know, God's will and uh, Really, just everything is just, I'm quite, to, to be quite frank with you, I've been quite blessed with opportunity and uh, I have followed through on every, on every opportunity mm -hmm. given to me. Every blessing, every, de every detail has fallen into place. I believe everything has worked out for me well in the end. I have my, my dual credit. I, despite all the anxiety, I might, given in regards to the you know, constant pressure uh, I would tell, uh, I might as well tell him to uh, calm down, you know, relax, uh, find time for yourself. But at the same time, I believe that uh, the way I have dealt out my time, it has all played out perfectly. Well, I, w I would say, you know, job well done, Carl. I mean, you, you, came, you came into GISD. Uh, in the Gainesville High School, you had a plan, you had a mission, you've executed that plan and mission, and now you sit here as the valedictorian of the class of 2024. Gainesville community, Mr. Carl Little, valedictorian of the graduating class of 2024 here at Gainesville High School.